Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? Me? I am inspired to be better than I once was because I have found the true path. And the true path is in Google. I, I know. You're, you're looking at me right now going, Steve, how can it be? I will tell you how it can be today on Dotto Tech. <laughs> Sit back, folks, and be amazed because our friends at Google have figured out exactly what is needed for each of us to improve ourselves dramatically. I may be overstating the case, but Google has added into their calendars a new type of data, and it's called goals. Now, you don't access the goals in the, in the desktop calendar, no, but instead it's right now baked in to the mobile app. So if you pick up your phone, and you go into the Google Calendar in the mobile app, if you go to add a new event by hitting that little plus sign down there at the bottom, you can add an event, you can add a reminder, and now you can add a goal. And the goal is kind of like <laughs> returning to New Year's Eve. All of the things, with the exception of diet, I think, that you might set as a goal for yourself on New Year's Eve as a New Year's resolution are articulated here in choosing a goal within your calendar. And what's going to do is this is actually going to pre-populate all of these goals into your calendar once you determine what your goals are. So let's take a look at what they might be. Ah, at the top of the list, exercise. Building a skill. They've got tight roll whopping. Roll, Tight rope walking there on the picture. I don't know if that's a skill many of us are going to try and build. F spending time with friends and family and what we want to do with friends and family. Me time. I like the idea of me time. And also organizing my life. But let's look at the lowest hanging fruit, which is the exercise one, because that's the one that we all probably want to add more to. So it's kind of interesting how it all fits together. Recognizing that it's going into our calendaring app, first thing it asks us is what type of exercise do you want to do? So you can choose a workout, run, walk. You could also do yoga, or you can customize. Now they've got a whole bunch of different ones pre-customized, including, I imagine, the slightly humorous wiggle one's ears. And you could also type in your own. So I'm going to put in to walk my dog. Even though they have walking, I'm going to put in specifically walk the dog because Farley needs a walk each and every day. So I'm setting that as a goal every day. How often? Every day. So you just go through and you answer the questions. How long does it take each day? One hour. So what's the best time? This is what's important. You put in the best time, uh, morning or afternoon or wherever. And what it does is it looks at your calendar then, and then it slots this in. So it doesn't rigidly put it at any single time. And if you take a look here, it's already pre-populated it into my calendar, looking for holes in my calendar where there, when there's a one hour contiguous hole in my time. And here, for example, on Thursday, it didn't find an hour because I had all the whole morning blocked off. So since I preferred it being in the morning, it didn't actually put it in for that time. So you have to understand these little variations on how it works. But the bottom line is it's put it in now as a goal in my calendar. Now, when we actually go into it, and let's go into it on the phone because typically speaking, you would, you would say that you've done it on your phone. You can click it here and mark as done, and then it's going to keep track of how often you attain your goals. It's going to it's going to measure it, and it's going to give you a little bit of feedback telling you that you are getting close to your goals because we always want feedback. But the combination of this easy scheduling of self-improvement, uh, automatically finding holes in our calendar to make it happen, the ability to defer it if we need to defer it is all part and parcel. So Google has given us the mechanical capabilities to improve ourselves. Actually doing the practices, that's going to be up to you and it's going to be up to me, but I think it's a step in the right direction. So thank you, Google. I think this is a great way to, to it's a great addition to the Google Calendar. Well, I hope you found today's video to be useful. There's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Secondly is I'd like you to subscribe to our newsletter. That way you'll hear about all of our upcoming tutorials, events, live trainings, that sort of stuff. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community funded channel. We are supported through the generosity of you folks at the crowdfunding site Patreon. You keep these videos flowing through your generosity and there are perks included for you. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, take a look and see what the perks are. Until next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.